I'm Matt Bruding. And I'm Renata Ford. It has been a week since a massive fire severely damaged a portion of I-471 just north of the Ohio River in downtown Cincinnati. You can see the blaze here from one of our OGO traffic cameras. Cincinnati Fire says the fire involved a large playground under the south approach to the Daniel Carter Beard Bridge, known locally as the Big Mac Bridge. The exact cause remains under investigation. The heat was intense enough to cause steel beams to bend. Fortunately, the large bridge itself was not damaged and no one was hurt. Within hours, ODOT bridge inspectors were on scene looking at the damage just north of the Ohio River. The most severe damage was to three beams on the southbound approach. After a thorough inspection, it was determined that the northbound bridge was safe to reopen to traffic and traffic began moving again in all lanes except the left lane around 9 p.m. Southbound will remain closed until further notice. Our uncrewed aircraft system center at Drive Ohio used a robotic dog named Brutus to help develop a 3D map of the damaged bridge using LIDAR. The information collected can then be used in the design of the repair and to assess the structural integrity of the bridge. I'm more of a cat person. <laughs> it's not something you see every day, for sure. Really, really cool. You can get more updates on this fire at transportation.ohio.gov slash 471 fire. Governor Mike DeWine was on hand to announce the opening of a new third lane on a busy stretch of State Route 161 between US 62 and I-270. The project included adding a lane to the ramp from westbound 161 to 270 north. This quarter has seen a 26% increase in traffic over the last decade, with nearly 83,000 vehicles using it each day. ODOT has always planned to increase capacity on this highway, but those plans were certainly accelerated when Intel made the decision to come here. This project was about more than just meeting today's needs. It's also about preparing for our future. While a new lane is open to traffic, the work isn't complete. Final paving of all three lanes of State Route 161 will be done next spring. Monday is Veterans Day. We'd like to thank all of our veterans working here at ODOT, like Tim Mahone. He started in the reserves at age 17 before becoming active duty. Several years later, he switched to the Air Force's Civil Engineering Unit. I was actually working for ODOT when I went to the Civil Engineering Unit, I seen ODOT as a, a great direction for me to be able to spend the time I needed with my family and raise my kids and watch them grow, you know, everything to soccer games. And I even got to coach my son at his soccer games. Thank you, Tim, and all the other veterans who served their country and now serve their communities here at ODOT. We appreciate everything you do. We certainly do. Thursday, November 14th is National Seatbelt Day. Yeah, I know there's a day for everything, right? <laughs> well, don't just buckle up next Thursday. Of course, do it every day. Wearing a seatbelt is an easy thing you can do to increase your odds of avoiding serious injury or being killed in a crash. In fact, the Ohio State Highway Patrol found that more than 60% of people who died in a crash in Ohio last year were not wearing a seatbelt. Buckle up, folks. Get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Follow us on social media and keep sending those great story ideas and feedback to loop at dot.ohio.gov. And now, you're in the loop! Yeah! yeah!